it is only Ore that's traveling today and just decides to make her hair this morning. Who does that? Just look at how I look, guys. Like, this is really, really not acceptable. But yeah, I just got to the salon. I'm trying to make something quick because I think I've become a last minute person, which is not good. But I'm just going to try to make something something simple and head back home because i still need to wrap up some packing and we move living gumbe has me feeling a certain type of way i mean the place the people it's literally been home for us for almost a year and we have built memories. This is NCCF Amazing Time. What did you say? Hi. I'm fine. Are you happy to be living Gombe? How do you feel? I'm not happy. <laughs> You're not happy. I love Gombe. You love Gombe. So let's talk. What exactly will you miss about Gombe? Like, what was this? Where are we going to miss Gombe? I'm going to miss Gombe because Gombe is cool. There is less stress. Actually, yeah, less stress. Less stress. Get to my time in the restaurant. The hustle and bustling of niggas. It's not That's here! Crazy. It's not here. The cool environment, actually. It's Miss Gombe. Even though most of our friends are gone, like, most of our friends are left. But so, in, oh, did you enjoy your Gombe experience? Sure. God of my beautiful experience. God of my beautiful experience. Like God was, you know, God was really, really there for us. But anyways, that's it, guys. We are just waiting for. I just waiting for <clears throat> our flight to be ready. Then we board. So to maximize time, I picked up my journal from my bag and I decided to start writing. I was also snacking on this fruit. I call it Grusha. I'm not sure what the English name is. I know Grusha is Russian and I can't remember the English name, but yeah, I was snacking on this and just spending time reflecting and just journaling my thoughts and where my heart is at right now and all that god has done throughout this 10 months in gumbe it was worth it by the way guys i talked to just show you my journal is called the immense journal and show you why i really love it and how it has been a blessing to my life um it has these notes from the author 
which is really nice so the next page is a colorful how to use guide um very easy to read and understand then the next page is the mini monthly planner where you have um different weeks where you can document what you want to do and how you want to plan your spiritual week for the month then we have scripture verses next page is what i'm grateful to god for and prophecies and counsels one of the beautiful things about journaling is that it helps you remember what God said. So I like that prophecy's part and counsel. There's still a part. Okay, this part is what's in your, what's on your heart rather and prayer for the lost. Helps you to remember to pray for people in need and all of that. There's also prayer for the nation. There's this this other side is where you see answered prayers. Helps you to reflect like when you see a pro when you write down a prophecy and then it comes to pass and you put it down in the answered prayer section it's just amazing yeah this is a prayer splash pray for love for patience for several things and each page has scriptures at the bottom segment which is what i'm just showing you here journaling is one of the best ways to stay thankful and also to remember god's promises like you know the human mind is really really limited there are some things you will not remember there are some things you will you know you will need some prompts and that's that's the purpose of journaling when you check oh i had this dream a certain time and then eventually it came to pass like you know you are you are strengthened in your feet you are strengthened in your heart it's just a beautiful thing to do and i hope you do that i will leave a link to our instagram page um the author so in case you want to get this journal you can always get it so check the description box So guys, let's do something. Tell me one flight that you know in Nigeria that is particular for delaying their customers. Just one. Just take a wild guess. A piece. And we've been here. By now, according to what the um, according to what the flight ticket says. I was supposed to have left Gombe by now, but guess what? We're not hearing anything. We're already busy and sleeping. <laughs> and we're still here. It's already past two. We're not yet boarding any flights. We're just here waiting, and I'm getting hungry. I'm starving. This is not fair. And there's nowhere to get to. So I'm going to have to. Hold this hunger till we get to Lagos. What is procrastination? It means to put off due or timely action until future time. Zest. 
of zeal, of enthusiasm, of drive. Let's see what we have here. This was at the stopover in Abuja. Usually some passengers will come down if their destination is, a, is in Abuja, while some that are headed to Lagos will join us from Abuja. But we're going from Gombe to Abuja, to Lagos rather, so we just stayed and then they gave us a snack. Is it true? You guys don't like to fly? That's what I said. The, back, the step of a good man is ordered by God. He will take the step and God will begin to order it. If you don't take step, God will not order it. Make efforts. When you make efforts, God will place his effect on your effort. So God's effect on man's effort is what makes man great. Make effort. Take steps. Get things done. Stop wasting time. John Maxwell said the worst failure is failure to try. Mm. The worst failure is failure to try. He said, I keep trying and trying again. Friends, hear me, friends. Many of us have failed many times. I've failed, sir. Sir, I have regret, sir. I have regret. I procrastinated. Let me tell you the truth today. Friends, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are one or two of you that are in my case. Don't worry. Some of you are even boiling now that I, 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 so my, probably, probably there's one of the students. Of course, there are many of you that actually you failed year one and they are told to repeat year one. Don't worry. Chill. Get excited. Probably some of you, this is your third university, this is your fourth university. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's always a good tomorrow. Probably there's a, there's a staff here. You lost the first pregnancy. Ah, oh, get pregnant again. You pushed your PAD. It didn't work. Push it again. You wanted to travel out. Push it again. Don't worry. You are part of me. me we are part of me. In the same um, issue, we have failed before, but get excited and push, get something done, stop procrastinating. Hear this? Hear one of the major scriptures of this year. He said, I will restore to you. So, so I'm not discouraged. The message is not to discourage you because some of you are already crying. It's not to discourage you, it's to get you excited. He said, I will restore. John chapter 2, verse 25. He said, I will restore to you the years that the locusts, the canker one, the power one are eating. He said, and my people shall never be ashamed. I really hope that this short exhortation on procrastination touched your heart and blesses you in a way because it blessed me. As you are getting to Lagos, how do you feel? Happy. You're not happy. <laughs> To go back to Gombe, right? Okay, so we're currently waiting to gas. I'm just waiting to leave this airport, and I'm really, really praying that there is no traffic. I really, really hope there's no traffic so we get home on time. This is already past six, 
and Lagos gets crazy by this time, but let's okay. see. <laughs> Jesus. We are in Lagos and we are home already. Guys, let me just quickly just if I wrap up this vlog. Uh immediately we got down, then we left, we we're in traffic trying to get home. And then I saw the most funniest thing. I'm like, Kai, welcome back to Lagos. There was this there was this lady that we saw. Um, I know this Danfo, Danfo is all these yellow buses. There was this lady that we saw, and she was literally at the door, the driver's side of the Danfo bus, and she was beating the driver from that angle. She was beating him. She had to open the driver's door. And <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Commotion in Lagos. What will I not see? Anyways, that's the end of this vlog. I need to relax and, you know, have a shower and just rest. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.